Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to make a riser that sounds something like this. So to do this, first we open up a new software instrument. I created this one in Massive, so we'll open up Massive. The default oscillator for this, um, set between uh, square and saw, is pretty good. You can use, you can mess about with the oscillators different ways and stuff, and find a, a wave that you think sounds good. But for this tutorial, we're just going to be using this one. So now we should just have a wave that sounds like this. We want to push the sustain right up and take an LFO and assign it to um, oscillator 1. We're going to want a ramp wave and we're going to want to push the rate so it's just pointing at about the E and then drag this up to 7. So now we should have something that sounds like this. The next thing we want to do is to take LFO6, change this to a ramp wave, take restart off, click sync, and drag this up to about 8 over 1. So this will create a pitch riser of 8 bars. So we're now going to drag this to oscillator 1 as well. And we're going to drag this down by 24. What this will do is while this one's telling the pitch to go down this one will tell the pitch to go up which will create a cool effect that sounds like something like this um next what we want to do is we're going to bring in some white noise just to add a little bit more grit we want to whack the colour right up and we want to assign the LFO of the fifth um, LFO to the amp and put it just so it's just so it's around the A. Um, right next we want to get some pan going on. So we can add like a little bit more modulation. We want to change LFO7 to a standard LFO. The um, sine wave is fine for this. So we're going to take uh, the seventh LFO and assign it to the pan and drag it so it's about here. Right, now we're going to start playing around with our macros. First what we're going to do is we're going to take L uh, macro 1 and assign it to the rate of the LFO that's telling our oscillator 1 to go down in pitch. Um, we're going to assign it to the rate so it will start doing this faster and faster the more we move our macro up. So if we drag it to about there, you'll now hear what it sounds like when I drag the macro up. Next, we also want to um, go to LFO7, uh, change the rate to about the same as the fifth LFO, and basically do the same for the rate, except I'm going to drag it to here, as we don't want the pan to be too, too crazy. Um, also, we're going to drag the amp of the um, LFO7 to about halfway, and assign macro 1 to this as well. What this will do is the faster this gets, um, the more you'll be able to hear the pan kicking in. So if we play this now, Uh, 
Right, so that's almost everything for this. Next, what we want to do is assign some reverb. Uh, we want a reasonable size reverb, but nothing too big. So we're going to do it just past the S and drag this up to about nine o'clock. So now we should have this. Uh, right, what's going on here? All right, yeah, that's, this is why. Um, you want the restart on LFO6 to have restart on, um, which is why um, when I press the key, why it starts in a different place, you want restart to be on. So we should have this. So the reverb adds a little bit of stereo width. Um, right, now we're going to draw in some automation. You'll see that I've already got automation for Riser uh, 1. This is basically the one that we're creating now. And then we're going to sort of make an alternative one, which will come in at the end. So if we go into our automation and find macro 1, what we're going to do is we're going to set the end one at about a third and we're going to set this one to go all the way up to the top so we should now have something that sounds like this uh, all right yeah i need to clearly just draw on a note Uh, what have I used for this one? Uh, there we go. Um, yeah, we should now have something that sounds like this. One thing I like to do um, with rises, uh, which you can see here, is I like to double them up. So if you take your first riser, click this button here to duplicate it, you'll get another one exactly the same. So if we copy this down, you want to copy the automation, so copy. And we're going to make this into a short riser. So if you take this and drag it, so it's just two bars long and go into your massive we want to change the length of the overall pitch rise which is number six so if we go into lfo6 uh, grab the ratio and instead of it being eight bars we want it to be two bars um also one thing to do is you want to go into the eq and stick a low cut on. On both of these. And take the volume of the second one down by 4 dB. So you should have something that sounds like this. So yeah, that's how to create a basic riser. Um, also, if you want a quick variation on this, what you can do is instead of having this at seven, which is it's going down in pitch by a fifth, you can do it the other way. So it's at minus five. Um, and you'll get something that sounds like this. So yeah, 
yeah, um, that's my uh, quick guide on how to make a riser. If you guys have any questions, put a comment in the comment box or send a message to my inbox. Thanks guys and see you in the next video.